Yeah, welcome to my channel in this video we'll be solving a question from west african examination examination council exam which is from 2011 november december that is why question november december west african senior school certificate exam so the question is on auxiliary projection we have to pro project the uh, auxiliary elevation of this object. This is the elevation and this is the plan. This orthographic elevation, orthographic plan. And we have to project the auxiliary elevation on plane QQ, which is inclined at 45 degrees to the horizontal. To solve this question, the first thing to do is to reproduce the diagram itself. So I'll start by drawing a horizontal line. Then let me the width, the total width is 60. So I'll measure 60. 60 from 1, that will be 7. This is 60. Then I'll give it a vertical height. I'll give it vertical height here and here. Then the total height of the elevation is 80. That's 80 here. So I'll measure 80 for the height of the elevation. That will be from 10 to 2. This is 80. 10 to 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 80. Hey, it should be in thin line. Not stick line. Let me draw that one. Yeah. Then the thickness here is 15. As you can see, from here to here is 45. So from here to here is 15. When you add 45 plus 16, to give you 60. So this thickness is 15. So let me measure 15. This is. 15. Also, the thickness here is also 15 as can be seen there. So let me measure 15 here too. This is 15. Then at the top two, I'll measure another 15. 15. So I can now draw the lines. Then the vertical one. Yeah, I think I'm done with the elevation. Yeah, still remaining this hidden part. This hidden part, which is from the base to the middle, is 40. So if I measure 40 above, I will now measure 10, 10 up and down. I measure 40 from the bottom. One, two, three, four. This is 40. Then from here now, I will now measure 10 above and 10 below. So I can place that here now with hidden lines. With hidden line and here. Like that. Then ticking this one. Like this. Ticking it from here. To this point also here you're taking this one this and this then i can take in the horizontal one like this 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 and finally this so i'm done with the elevation remaining the plan so let me extend the all the corners downward for the plan. Extend this downward. Extend this corner too downward. And this one, extend it downward. Then let me take it any distance from the base of this elevation. Let me pick this point. Just pick that point, then draw the horizontal line. Now, what is the width of the elevation? Uh, this is 45. So I'll measure 45. From that place downward 
one two three four forty five then from the base here to the middle somewhere around there is 22.5 which is half of the half of the width so that means by the time i measure my 22.5 i'll now measure 10 up and 10 down so let me measure 22.5 this is 10 20 22.5 will be somewhere around here so from this point now i will now measure 10 up and 10 down 10 up 10 down so that will give me the the hole and then it will be hidden again it will be hidden here too here and here so let me draw this one and even thicken it at once this one this then this one i'll thicken this one too this this one will be hidden line i'm not teaching orthographic projection here so i believe you should know how we arrive at all these hidden lines you should know when we look at it from the top this corner will be hidden that's why this one is hidden so that is the the given view elevation and plan now the next thing i want to do is to draw my 45 degree angle it's inclining this way since i have 45 degree set square i'll just put my 45 degree set square here just draw it just draw 45 degree yeah definitely this 45 degree angle if you measure this angle now it will be 45 degrees so we are done with that so that will be our plane q qq then qq so let me adjust the camera a little okay so with this now the next thing i want to do because it is always very necessary for you to draw to sketch the orthographic view of this object before you start so that you'll be able to label all the diagrams correctly so let me just sketch i want to sketch the elevation let see okay can i cannot see there let me move it up a little yes aha uh -huh. so if i draw draw it like this like this and put my hidden lines here hidden lines here Just sketch it like that then from all the corners you project receding lines receding line here 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 bring this one up this one up. if you need the video on how to convert iso isometric to i mean orthographic to isometric you can check my channel there are so many videos on that so this one definitely it will be a hole somewhere here it's a hole somewhere here which will have thickness so this is how the elevation will look like i mean the isometric view so let, let us label all the corners let's say this place is a this is b this one is c d e then the back of d will be small letter d the back of e will be somewhere around there let's call it small letter e the back of c here will be small letter c the back of B will be small letter B. Back of A will be small letter A. What else now remaining this one? So if, you, if I label this one as 1, 2, 3, 4. Then take note that this one too also has thickness. So there will be back of V. Let's call that one 3 prime, 4 prime. Back of 1 will be 1 prime. And back of two will be two prime so let us just take note of that now let us now put the labeling on our drawing so how do we do that if you look in this direction in this direction like this you see the shape this, this is the shape that you see so in this corner we have d small capital letter d in the front and capital letter d at the back 
That means here we have D and D. In this place, we have capital letter C in the front, capital letter C at the back. So we have C and C. Here we will have B and B. Here we will have A and A. And here, oh, I didn't label this one. I stopped. Okay, E. Let's say this place is F. This place is G. And this place is H. So at the back of this F, we have F, small letter F. Let me just put it here. At the back of this one, at the back of this one, we also have small letter G. Let me just put it here. Small letter G. So at this corner, we will have H, capital letter H, and small letter H. Here we have capital letter G and small letter G. That is the back of this one. It will be somewhere around here. Now, here we have F and, cap and small letter F. While here we have E and small letter E. Similarly, if you look at, still looking at this place, these two sides, that is representing this one and this one. At the top, we have four in the front and three at the back. So we have four and three. Here we have one and two. So definitely by the time you look at this and the one inside, when we look at it from this side, that's the thickness of this block, this uh, square hole. It will be four prime and three prime. Whereas this one will be one prime and two prime. So that's the labeling for the elevation. Now for the plan, let's look at the plan. For the plan, when we look at it from the top here, at the back, this corner, let me show you. Okay, I can see. You can see this place. We have D here, and at the bo on bottom of D, we have small letter E, which is the uh, back of this one. So here we have D and E, small letter. Also on that same corner, going downward, we will see have small letter A. This small letter A is here. Small letter H is somewhere here. Just back of this one. So A is under this one. It's go like this. So this is where we have A. So, still at this corner, we have D and E. Also at this corner, we have H and A. So, small letter H, small letter A. Not there. Sorry. Small letter H. Here, and small letter A. At this corner, which is representing this corner. Now, at this corner, we have C and B. Here we have small letter C and small letter B. Then in the front here, we have capital letter D, capital letter E, capital letter H, capital letter A. So we have D, E, H, A. Then at this corner, which is representing this place, well, what we have here, so we have F, capital letter E. At the back, we have small letter F and small letter G because F and G, capital letter are uh, above each other. F is up, G is down. That is on the odd, on the far end. Small letter F will be there and G. So we have small letter F and small letter G. Now at the front, this front will have capital letter F and capital letter G. If you look at it, when you look at it from the top, you see this one and this one. Then similarly, at this corner, at the top you have C, at the bottom you have B. So you have C and B, capital letter. Then these two corners, what do we have here? Looking at it from the top, by the far side, this is the far side, this is the near side. So the far side, we have three and three and two. So we have three here. At this corner, we have three and two. And the near side, looking from the top, we have four and one. So we have four here and one. And finally, the inside one, it will be 3 prime and 2 prime, whereas this one will be 4 prime and 1 prime. So that is all with all the diagram. So now the next thing is now begin to project. I'm projecting at 45 degrees. So I'll, you project from all the corners, from all the corners of the plan. From all the corners of the plan, that's where you project from. My 45 degree set square is not very big, so I have to extend the line after 
drawing this thing once you are able to label properly the first thing is to be able to convert to isometric projection correctly and you are and you are able to label correctly then you don't have problem with this topic it's very straightforward it's very very straightforward this one and finally this one so let me now extend them i'll extend all of them this one is entering into our sketch a little and this one we will get the next one which is this this one you have to be very careful and ensure that your lines are straight and they are parallel you no know, parallel lines don't meet have to be very careful actually why i'm using this it's easy for me to draw this line project all this line from this here is because i've used 45 degree to draw the angle as given in the question so because of the, and to draw my projection i have to project it at 90 degree to this q q so to do that i will need another 45 because if this place is 45 it's only 45 degree that can project it correctly and it will be perpendicular to it assuming the given angle is 30 here definitely it will not be you will not be able to use 30 to do it i will need 60. just add up the angle to make 90 that's what you use to draw it if you have drawn one to be 30 you now use 60 to to draw the projection that 60 plus 30 will give you 90. but in this case it is 45 that's why i use 45 to project it when i add the two of them together they will give me 90 degrees so that's that now the next thing i want to do because i'm projecting from the plan i'll take my dimension that will be along this side from my elevation so to do that i'm going to take dimension of here to here which is 15 here to here which is 50 and this one is 15. so let me start from the bottom it will be 15 50 and 15. this is 15 this is 80 and this is another 15 so definitely in between will be will be 50 so let me now draw perpendicular line need to drop let me drop perpendicular line like this from those points or parallel line to the one to, to qq parallel line to qq bring it to this place take it that way Bring this one too. Let me move it a little bit upward. This. So adjust it here. And to go that way. And finally, the last one. Like this. So I have my dimensions now. Now, we're going to carry the, this whole length like this. You take it like this and bring it here. The one at the bottom will be a a b b so here i will have a a b b that is on the the first line at the bottom will be here followed by the next one which is h h g g so here i will have h h g g then at this point i will now have e e f f here i have e e f f then at the top i'll have d d c c d d c c now don't forget that we also have point in between here so i'll need to transfer those ones too so let me bring them out bring this one here like this bring it here and this other one too like this so i'll i can use my compass to transfer that 
So I just put it, I can put it on this HH and extend it to that that area here yeah, to this place. So I'll come to my HH like this and I'll mark that one. I'll go back to my HH and extend it to the other end. This one like this. So I'll go back to my HH again and I'll draw that. So that is that. So let me draw a parallel line from those points as well. Put it on this one, like this. And I'll put my other set square at the bottom. And stretch it up so I can see how I'm doing it. Like this. Then you put your other set square at the bottom and slide it to that area. And the other one. Yeah, so that is that. So at the first one, the first level, which is after H8, it is here. I have one prime, one, one prime, two prime, one prime, two prime, then one and two. Here I have four prime, three prime, then four and three. So those are the all the points. So let us now begin to connect. Now, as you can see, capital letter E is connected to capital letter D. Let us look at that one. Oh, let us start from the far end. Let's start from this one. D to E. D to E. Where is small letter D? Small letter D is here. Small letter D is here. Look at it. Small letter D. It is missing small letter D here. And that one is connected to small letter E. Where is small letter E? Here. Small letter E is here, so it is somewhere around here. Don't get confused with this B. This B is actually from the isometric view. It's somewhere here, this corner. So my E, small letter E is actually coming this way. So meaning these two, these places are connected together with straight line. So let me connect them with thick line. Yes, like that. Now, still on this line, we have H connected to A small letter. Where is A small letter is here and small letter H is here. So we have this connect with thick line. They are connected together. Now let's go back to this place. That is F connected to capital letter. No, no, no. This is small letter G. This is small letter G. This is capital letter G here. So F small letter connected to G small letter. F small letter is here. Where is F small letter? It is this one. So I think it is here. Yes. F small letter is connected to G small letter. Where is G small letter? G small letter is here. So it will be here. Because we are viewing from this side, we can see this corner because it is open to us. That is where I view like this. You can see this corner. I hope you understand. You can see this corner. So we have to join them with thick line. Like that. Now, what's the next one? This is C connected to B. Small letter. Small letter C. Small letter C is here. That is this line. This is small letter C. Is that correct? Yes, this small letter C connected to small letter B. Small letter B is here. Here. These ones are connected together. And if you look at it, because we are viewing from here, we can't see this corner. Because this place is blocking this side. We can't see it. When we are viewing from here, definitely we can't see this corner, this line. We can't see it. So it will be hidden line. So you draw this with hidden lines. You draw it with hidden line from the top to the bottom. That is from C to B, like that. That is that one referring to C to B. Now, let us look at D to E, capital letter. D to E, D capital letter is here. Where is that line? D capital letter is here. And E capital letter is here. Now, 
we are viewing from this side definitely we can see this corner so it will appear as thick line like this similarly h is connected to a capital letter capital letter a is here and capital letter h is here so they are connected like this so you join with thick, let, uh, thick line yeah. you join with thick line now when we look at okay let us do this one this two first now when we are when you are viewing from here we are looking at this corner that is g connected to g capital letter this capital letter g here and capital letter f is here here like this because we are viewing from here and this one is open we can see this line f capital and to g capital so we have to draw it with thick line you draw it with thick line <laughs> like that now then this corner c capital letter to b capital letter b capital letter is here and c capital letter is here since we are viewing from this side we can also see this corner so you join them like this good now this face is actually this face d e d e so when we look at it from this side definitely we can see it so all the lines will will be up here we'll see this one which is this top we'll see this one going down which is this one and we'll see this one going down which is this one so they will all they are all connected let us connect them with straight lines like this and this definitely don't, let, don't let us even waste our time the perimeter will be thick lines the perimeter will actually be thick lines similarly for the bottom this one is the perimeter so let us join everything and don't forget the same thing that happened for this one here to here here to here will also happen for h to a h to a when we view from here we can see all these corners all these four corners when we view from this side remember this one will be hidden line just use that one to explain so definitely this one too will be thick line you're taking this one too up to here so like that now that is that similarly because we are viewing from this side we are viewing from here like this this line this line f to g and f to g here we can also see it because we are we can see the inside of this uh, in, uh reverse letter c so we can see f to g and f to g and f to g small letter is here and capital letter no this is f here and g here so definitely we can see the inside so automatically we have to thicken this one too so it should be taken up to this point like this this one too will be taken up to this area like this so that's this face is representing this face the face inside that is fg small letter f small letter g that's the face that inside so we can see it because that place is open so we can see it that's why i have to do that one like that now we are left with the the hole inside which is this one but because we are viewing from here we can see all the holes so let us just plot them one after the other two prime to three prime this is two prime here two prime is here to three prime three prime will be somewhere here it will be here and if we are viewing from this side like this we can see it we can see the hole clearly so this one will be thick then three to two three to two that is not prime this time around three to two let us see it here this is two here and this is three here like this now remember we are viewing from this side we can also see this line it will appear like this
Then don't forget we are, we also see the top and the bottom. But let's leave down. Let's do this one too first. Then this one four prime to one prime. One prime is here, and four prime is here. Look at it, four prime. So we can also see that side. Let us join it. So then, now, finally four to one. Four. One is here. Let me see it again. This is it. One is here. And four is here. Now, this one will be hidden line. Why will it be hidden line? Because this place is solid from here to here. This is where we have the hole. This area, this area, this area, this area. But this one is from here to here is solid. And if you look at it, this solid line is already covering this f to g is already covering four to one you can see the line is above it so definitely we cannot see this four to one so definitely this one will be hidden line this one will be hidden line like that then you can connect them with thick line up to this place then this one will be hidden line here yeah the same thing here Connect it up to this place, and this one will be hidden line like that. So, that is the solution to the question. So, we have been able to plot all the points. So, if you have enjoyed this video, do like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Thank you very much for watching. We will meet in the next video.